Do you remember in one of our video we have created a clock app? Let's first redesign it and we will now see in this episode how we can use the states and what is actually the life cycle of the states or life cycle of the app. So let's just delete everything from here till here. Okay, this one also. Now create a function and I will call it clock and this function will now return an h1 tag and inside this I will say time is then I will use new date dot to locale time string okay and let's render this clock and we have decided we have to use capital C okay so let's just start the server so npm run start hit enter and in no time it will just start the server in our browser so let's see yeah it's having some kind of error which says new date so d has to be capital yeah it's working and we have done this thing we have done set interval and inside we have created a function and everything we have put inside this and here comma 1000 save and now you can see everything is correctly working but here is some problem we have to make all the codes inside a single function there is nothing we can reuse there is nothing which is encapsulated which is separate so let's just do that thing so what we can actually do we can move this set timeout or set interval inside this and this function outside it is still work and you can see this function is now reusable we can use it another way we can also move this function and call it function called let's say time and in this function I will put that thing and now in the set interval I will call that function so we can do like this and save it and yeah it, it is still work and we can also do like this we can remove this thing this also and it will still work we have separated out many things but still there is a scope to have all the things separated so let's do one thing so to have a new look of this thing we first create a class instead of this function for the component we have learned that we can create a component via function or via class so I will say class clock extends and that should be react dot component and inside this we have to use firstly the render method and this render method is just like this method and we have to just return everything from here and let's just return this so now we don't need this one so if I remove this it will still going to work let's see save this file and yes it still works but here is something more you can see we are hard coding the date here it is date so it's okay but we cannot hard code any value so here comes a new thing which is called state 
So what states will do, states is just like your local variable. The props we have seen, props can have the data from outside the component, but the states are components. So how we will set the state? To set the state, we firstly have to create a constructor. So I will say constructor and inside the constructor, we firstly have to say super and if any props we have, so props, okay. And we have to include props here also, okay. Here, now I will say this dot state is equal to then there is an object and in the object I will define whatever I want to have here so I'm saying here date colon new date so you can see I'm defining a date state here which is just like this and instead of this now I can say this dot state dot date save this file and you can see it is still work but it's not updating this thing we have to do this also this is actually not working because you can see in the set interval we are using a time function which is this and here it's not getting state every time the value of state is get by this component, this system only once. Okay, so we will see how we can change this to a updated self-updated time, which is stopped right now. Okay, so we have seen that how we can use the states in our React system, but now we have to do the life cycle part also. So what is actually the life cycle? Life cycle is just that whenever the React load this component into the DOM, then that function, that moment is called mounting. And it's just creation of the component. So there will there is a function which is just like component did mount. This is a function. And we have one more function which is like component will unmount. We have these two function. This means whenever the component mount, that means loads, it will do whatever we will define in this function. And whenever the component unmount, that means removed from your DOM, then whatever we decide or we will write here, it will do that thing. So firstly check by alert. So I will say alert abc, save this file and you can see it's now al having alert because we have seen that this will be mounting whenever the component mount. So instead of this, what we have to do, we have to set the state date value to a new date. So let's first create a function called start. And here I will say this dot set state. You cannot do setting of state variables like this. This dot state dot date is equal to like something. You cannot do this thing. You have to use this function. This dot set state. And in this function, we have to define our new value for date. So date is new date and then semicolon not come here, it will be here. And now in the mount part, I will say set interval. Here we have to use arrow function and I will say this dot start then comma 1000 close this save this file and 
now you can see everything is properly working and if you want to stop this just call it like uh, this dot timer is equal to this and here I will say clear interval so clear interval and here I will say this dot timer okay so it's the basic thing you can see we have started from a just a function and now everything is having its own work everything is encapsulated everything is having its own function so you can see if I delete that we have to remove this function time function and now save and yes it will again work so you can see we have seen how we can use the state how we can update the state this is very important to update the state what are the life cycles of the component so in, in the next episode we will cover some more details so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram